Hi, this is a short video to show you how to use Unswagger CodeGen to scaffold Anato Server API project from a Swagger specification. The code gen generator uh, can be found from uh, uh, GitHub. This is the location. The official uh, code, code Swagger CodeGen doesn't support Java 8 and uh, the Anato server is using Java 8, so we have to fork it. So you have to use this version to uh, generate the Anato server uh, API project. You just need to clone this to your local, and uh, since we've already got this on my local, so I don't need to clone it. Just make sure we have the latest. So I just pull from uh, GitHub to make sure I have the latest version. What you need to do, you need to build this and uh, uh, run the command line. Before we run the command line, let's just make sure we have uh, the existing project removed. So I'm going to generate uh, the application into this folder, network nt Anato server example. This is a, a GitHub project, so I'm going to remove the path store. can see the path store is gone and I'm going to regenerate the path store from uh, this code gen. This is the command line to generate uh, an API project from a Swagger specification. So you can see I use Java dash jar uh, module. This is CLI, uh, a code gen CLI and uh, the command is generate and input is HTTP pastor.swagger.io uh, slash uh, v2swagger.json This is uh, the version 2 of pastor uh, swagger specification. I'm just using this example. Uh, dash L is anato. This is the language. Dash O is output to this folder. Network, uh, my home directory, network nt o anato server example slash pastor. So you click this, you run this command and you generate this application. So here, let's see, we got pastor regenerated. Let's go to the pastor, and then we can build this project. Just maven install. Now we have running, uh, we have an application can be started. So to start it, you can use the two different command lines. I would prefer to use maven exec exec. Now you have the project up and running. Let's uh, try to hit the project uh, endpoint and see if it works. Okay, it's working. Yeah, we hit this pad one one one. That's get uh, we got the get pad by ID. This is a, a dummy data coming from uh, the generated handler. So the next, let's take a look at uh, the generated code. Let's open the pastor application. Because this is a brand new generated application, we have to it's import the Maven project. So basically, we have uh, this Maven project is generated, and all the dependencies here, and including everything like uh, in order to build your project. This is README. The README will give you a JDB token, which you can access this uh, if security is turned on. And we have git ignore to ignore all the uh, temporary files. And let's take a look at uh, the source code. The source code is generated into this package, IO Swagger handler and the model. Uh, this is all the models we have in the past store spe uh, specification. 
and this is the handlers. All the handlers for every endpoint you have a, a specific handler, but we have this uh, pass handler provider that's basically group all the endpoints together. So you can see we have a, uh, a HTTP handler. This is create a routing handler, and after that we added all the routings together. This uh, the get, uh, delete, and the post and uh, put all different kind of HTTP verb, and you can have a URL pattern here, and then you map this to a handler. If you take a look at the uh, a handler, you can see you open the handler. It basically implement HTTP handler, and after that, you have this hand handle request. And for me, right now, it's just return this uh, uh, a string. This is the operation ID from a Swagger specification. What your if you have API project, you have generated that many handlers. What you need to do, you change the handler to for your business logic. This is a resource generated, and within the resource, you can see we have OAuth, we have uh, all the uh, certi public certificate to verify the JWT token, and then we have a security.json, we have server.json, and the swagger.json. This swagger.json is used to generate this project, and we have swagger.json including the project so that in, during the runtime, well, the framework will validate the input according to the Swagger specification. At the same time, it will be, we're checking the security for the swag, uh, from a Swagger specification because in the specification, there's scope defined. Uh, as default, uh, the JWT uh, verification is turned off after generation. If you want to try the JWT security verification, you can just uh, change this to true. We have scope verification as well, and uh, its default is true, but it, since the JWT verification is false, so scope is not uh, checked either. The way it works is this. We have all the middleware defined here as a plugin. If you look at this, we have the middleware like a generic exception handling, and the matrix, Swagger uh, injection, and JWT verification body parser. We have simple audit handler and the full audit handler to dump the entire request and response. And we have a validator uh, handler to do the validation according to the specific, uh, Swagger specification. This is uh, the middleware uh, in uh, plugin configuration. It's a Java SPI uh, uh, plugin. Another plugin we have is uh, the pass handler provider, which I showed you in the beginning of this, this is uh, the file. So we inject this so that its business logic or the business handler can be injected into the request response chain. So this is how it works. Uh, and another thing is this, we, we generate source code at the same time, we generate uh, test cases. The test cases will use this uh, uh, test server. The test server will basically just start uh, the real server. You can see it uh, starts every test cases, you, you share the same server instance. And if you look at one test case, it's just like this. You have this test case started, and basically I call this uh, URL, but the without doing any validation or searching for the response. But you can add this on your own based on whatever returns from your handler. So that's it. Uh, this is how you scaffold new application based on Swagger specification and how you're going to modify the handlers to put your business logic in and how you're going to update the test cases to make sure all the handlers uh, is fully coverage. Uh, fully coverage. Thank you. Bye.